Hey, what's up guys, it's Lee Don here and today I'll be showing you how to make a custom camo for Modern Warfare 3. Before we get started, I'd like to say you will need Photoshop and I cannot help you out how to get Photoshop, but just get Photoshop. The second thing is, is once you get Photoshop, you're going to need a Photoshop plugin from the video. Now that plugin will be in my Modern Warfare 3 editing tools and the Modern Warfare 3 editing tools will be in the description down below so you can go ahead and download that. So once you have that unzipped and open, you're going to see this Photoshop plugin zip. You're going to extract that, which I already have that right here. Go into it, go into the folder once again. You're going to see two folders, one called 32-bit and the other one called 64-bit. Now you're going to want to install the one that applies to you, to your operating system as well. If you know what, you don't know what uh, system type you have, all you have to do is go to your start orb, right click this PC, go into properties. And you're going to look for system type. As you can see, I have a 64-bit operating system. So I should go ahead and install the 64-bit one. I already have installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that at the moment. So once that is all done, we're going to go into our Modern for 3 folder. I'll be using uh, the plutonium copy for this tutorial. So we're going to go into our folder, go into main, and we're going to look for the iw underscore 06.iwd file now to open this file you will need an extraction software i am using winrar and that's what i will use to open it so go ahead and open that and close this out you can also close this stuff out as well for the moment we're going to go into the images folder and we scroll down once we start seeing the word weapon so it's a little bit halfway and there you go once you reach weapon you're going to scroll down until you see weapon camo and there you go now most of the files are in here are the files you're going to need to modify these camos. Now, before we get started, uh, I would like to say once again that uh, we are modifying the camos for the game, not making the actual custom skin. The difference between a skin and a camo is that a skin is the actual file for the actual model in game. For example, the Asimov skin pack that I made was made me modifying the actual gun texture. Now a camo is basically a camouflage that you use in game. For example, the red, blue, snake, classic, digital urban, etc. That's what we'll be modifying today. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be modifying the Arctic camo. So actually we're going to be modifying the autumn. My bad. The Arctic is not in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, that's another thing is that some of these files that are in here are uh, just recycled from the previous games. So COD 4 and Modern 2 are the previous ones to this game. So Weapon Camo Autumn is the actual file that gives you the texture on your skin. Now I like to modify these two as well which is basically Weapon Camo Menu and Weapon Camo Menu the name of the camo underscore SM. Now with these two uh, files are is one of them which is the top one modifies the the image that comes out on your class when you're scrolling down your classes it shows camo in the background of the gun and the sm one shows the actual preview when you're scrolling through the menu of the camos and i like to modify these so i don't have to keep guessing which camo is which because it will have the default camos that you modified if you just modified the first one so I like to modify all three. So once you found the camo that you want to modify or if you want to use the autumn to go along with this tutorial, you're going to want to open up the Modern for 3 editing tools folder and move it over to your right so you can have a little workspace and you want to go into the converters folder. Then you're going to open up the folder once again and you would want to go to the original folder so you can move the files there. Now I'm going to move that to the right and we're going to let it open up a little bit bigger and move to the left. So go back into your WinRAR and drag the files out into the original folder and exit out. Now the next step is to convert these files into images. So we're going to drag each one into the IWX DDS converter and it's going to go with image. So just exit out of this. It just shows a little preview, which is not important at the moment. And you kind of get the point of which image is which. Once you're done, you want to select all the images. So control X and we're going to move them to the editing folder. So control V and paste those in there. We're going to go into our Photoshop now and we're going to move, start moving the images in there. 
Now, the way I like to keep things organized and simple is I like to move the weapon camo first without the SM at the end because this one uses a different import setting and export setting from these two. These two use the same settings to import and export. So I like to do this one first so I don't get mixed up with these and I hopefully I don't get an error when launching the game. So let's go ahead and import that. And here you're going to have your NVIDIA plugin that you installed pop out. So you're going to use the default sizes and you're going to use load mipmaps for your, this uh, file. So hit OK. Now I'm going to go back and import the weapon camo SM. I like to use this one first instead of the long one because it's the same size. So go ahead and drag that in here. And for this one, we're going to turn off the load mipmaps and we're going to do the same for the long one as well. No mipmaps and hit OK. Now from here on out, you can start editing the texture, making your own little cool pattern so it could, you know, look cool and whatnot. But I will be using an image and that's what most people do, use an image for this type of uh, skin or camos. So let me go into edited not finished and I will be using this image for this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit off. So I'm gonna just stretch it out so it can fit. And that's pretty much it. You have your custom camo right there. Now for this one, instead of doing the same thing, you can just right click and duplicate the layer to that file. There you go. Now for this one, it's a bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the file in and I'm gonna stretch it halfway right there and hit Control J to duplicate the file and move it right there. Now, I might just turn it around so it can look a bit better, okay. I just might leave it like that actually. Not sure. But you get the point. Edit it around, make it look nice. There you go. I'm gonna leave it like that. So uh once you're done with your camo, let's say this is the final result and it, it is the final result for me. You're gonna want to save it. Now before we save it, you want to check the channels layer and check if you have an alpha layer. In this case, the weapon camo autumn or the weapon camo, the original one. Mostly doesn't never have a alpha layer. Now the other two, which have menu in the the title, they usually do have alpha layer, as you can see right here. There's alpha layer for this one. And if we go to the other one, there is also an alpha layer. So let's start the saving or exporting process. So we're gonna hit control shift save and we're gonna select DDS as our saving format. And we'll click save, click yes to replace it. Now, since we are saving the weapon camo original one, we're going to select generate mip maps. Now, remember when I said to check for the alpha layer, that's important because we're going to select right here, either DXT5, which means it has an alpha layer, or DXT1, which means it has no alpha layer. And this one does not have one, so we're going to select the DXT1 and click save. I wouldn't close this out so we don't get confused with the rest of the exporting process. So control shift save once again, select DDS, save, yes. And for this one, you're going to select no mipmaps because we didn't import it with mipmaps. So there's no reason to save it with mipmaps. The other thing is, remember, this does have an alpha layer. So we're going to go into here and select DXT5 and click save. Now we're going to exit this out and the settings should save when you go to the other one to save it. So click save and as you can see, we still have the same saving settings. Click save and exit out of Photoshop. And it's pretty much it. Go into your Monfa 3 edited folder and now we're going to convert these images back into IWI files. So we're going to select the image and go to the DDS to IWI converter. It should give you this file. Just go ahead and grab the other one, do the same. Grab the other one and do the same. 
Once that is done, we're going to go into our Marfadirian folder. And what I usually like to do is I like to drag the weapon camo one, which is the original one, and drag it into the IW fix it converter. Now you will get this. You probably will have my directories. Uh, if you have this issue, just go into the IW fix it and delete the settings.ini and it should ask you where you have the original and where you have the new edited folder located so you don't have to use my settings. So the first thing you want to do is select this location, copy it, then you're going to hit start. Oh, also make sure to check this launch CRC tool when finished. It makes it, the process a lot quicker. And for original, you want to place this location right here. So control C and for the new one, you're going to go over here as well. Control A, control C, then control V, and paste that in there. Hit execute. Then you just go over here, hit exit. And I usually like to go to converters and then I'll just quit out of this. After that, you're pretty much done because it actually fixed all three files, even though you just selected one. That's because all files are in the same folder. So it reads all of them and does the fixing for you. So that's a little nice thing. If you're trying to multitask, you don't have to do one by one. It will just detect it and do all of them. Now to install the files. Uh, there's two methods now since Pluto came out. If you're running on Steam or Techno, the easiest way for those is to basically go into the main folder, go into IWI images and basically drag them in there. Just make sure you keep the original files just in case you want to remove them. If you're on Steam, you can just easily verify your files and it will download the original ones and remove the camels for you. Now for uh, Pluto, they want you doing a different method because of anti-cheat issues, they don't want you to get falsely banned. They want you to install them in the images folder. You just drag your IWI file in here and voila. Now, or you can also create a IWD folder or file and drag it in there, which I did do, but did not work. And also I just, I don't want to just drag all the files in here and it looks messy. So one way you could do it is go into your main folder, copy this, Go into your desktop, paste it, and you can actually open this file, images, select all, and except for this folder up here, and delete it. Once they are deleted, exit out, rename the folder to whatever you like. Um, but before you rename it, make sure you have a Z in front of it and an underscore. Then you can put the name of the of the file. For this case, I'm going to put C skins, in other words, custom skins, so it won't be long. I'm going to open up once again this file, go into images, and from there you, you can actually go over here and drag all these in there. Now, once you've done that, you can move this file back to your gaming folder for Pluto. Go into Pluto and you could just drop it right in there. Now, let me check this one, make sure it's empty. All right. So that's pretty much how you install it for Pluto. And we're going to test things out right away. See if everything works and hopefully our game doesn't crash. I'm going to open this up. All right, now that we're in game, we're going to go into create a class, go into one of our classes, go in here, and we edit the autumn one. And as you can see right here, there is autumn. Here is the nice preview that I was talking about, the camo menu SM one. And when we select this, here's the other preview right here on the right. This is the camo menu one without the SM at the end. And this shows the preview on your weapon class. And then the other original one, the first one that we edited, that one actually is the one that shows your camo in game. So let's hop into a random game or server. Like our class. Deathmatch. And as you can see, there's Delta team, our you are camo. Clear to engage. Looks very nice, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you make a custom camo in Modern Warfare 3. So, the 
pretty much it guys uh like the video if it helped you out if you made some custom dank uh, camos dislike it if you didn't like it or you hate me or whatever and if you'd like to see more of my youtube content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye